Hey Capricorn, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of October 2019. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment, and share with your friends and family. Make sure as well, if you would like a personal reading from me, that you check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. I am an astrologer, as well as a psychic tarot reader, so I can read your tarot cards, as well as your birth chart or natal chart. So, if you'd be interested, check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Purchase your reading directly from my website. All of the instructions are there. Within 24 hours, I will send you an email confirmation, letting you know that I received your payment. And then within one to three days or sooner, typically sooner than two to three days, sometimes the same day, we will get your reading done as soon as possible, all right? So make sure you also hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification whenever I go live or upload a brand new video. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn, Moon. I already said that. South Node, North Node. Basically, if you have Capricorn in your chart, this reading is for you. So apply it where it resonates. And let's get right into it. Let's see what's in store for Capricorn for the month of October 2019. <clears throat> what's in store for Capricorn for the month of October 2018? Capricorn, we're in the season of Libra, balance, weighing things out, doing what we love, spending time with the people that we love. Enjoying your free time. Having a balance between work and play. So where do you fall in all of this energy, Capricorn? What's in store for you in October 2019? Let's see. Hmm, it's interesting, Capricorn. There could be a situation in the past in which there's a couple scenarios here, either in which you left a situation and maybe certain people in this, the situation you left behind miss you, still think about you, still talk about you. Um, I feel like it's good things, um, and they may actually want you back in some way, shape, or form. There's another situation here where maybe there was a circumstance or situation where you weren't chosen. And the people that made that choice somehow have you on their mind or are still somehow thinking about you. And I do feel like, once again, it is connected to some sort of opportunity. But it could be an opportunity from the past that you, either you turned down or someone else turned down you for an opportunity. But I feel like there's communication coming back around this month. All right? Something about communication coming back around. <clears throat> Definitely something about being chosen. Definitely could be something about an, another opportunity. And it's kind of like the energy, hey, I know the first time around we didn't choose you. Maybe we thought you weren't the right fit. We went with someone else. But I think, you know, we'd like to, you know, talk to you again. We'd like to hire you. We'd like to, maybe there's something about being rehired as well. Talks of being rehired. Or coming back into a situation. Someone wanting you to come back. Baby, come back to me. Come back. Baby, come back to me. You're one in a million. That's what I feel. Something about the past is coming back around. But the past is coming back around. 
to be reconsidered. There's something about reconsideration here in October 2018 for my Capricorns. But the interesting thing here is Capricorn is that you have a power position now because whatever the situation is, this person needs you. Maybe you don't need them so much. Maybe you do. <clears throat> But realize that you do have a power position in this situation. Now, what I don't want you to do is to immediately dismiss the situation based off your feelings. No, you said no the first time. No, I don't want this. You know, it's already not. Uh, Capricorn, you may want to think about the offer. And if there's stipulations about the offer, maybe since now you have a little bit of a power position, somehow in this dynamic, Maybe it would be worth it to counteroffer <clears throat> or to negotiate. But regardless, there's definitely something coming back around, I feel like, from the past to be reconsidered. And it, it, the offer itself may come with some sort of new stipulations. Um, but I don't know why I get the sense that if it doesn't come with new stipulations, I feel like there is a possibility for you to negotiate some stipulations here and i could be talking up like this because i've been watching a lot of shark tank lately <laughs> but i just feel this energy for you capricorn i really really do in october 2019 and whatever this situation is these people would love to have you on board this person would love to bring you back in um so i don't feel like they have negative intentions But I do think that there is something about you really needing to, you know, take time to consider accepting any offer this month that seems promising, but that may take up a little bit of your time that you are used to maybe having at this point, like you've created some structure around some new situation in your life after... Maybe experiencing a loss of some sort, whether it was a loss that was uh, caused by you or, uh, you know, outside of your circumstances, outside of your control. Is it worth the sacrifice in some way, shape, or form is the, I feel like, main issue in your in, in your decision in whatever this new opportunity coming around is i want to say that would be a personal preference but i also want to give you a final answer to that i'm going to stick to as my final answer to whatever decision you're trying to make this month capricorn that even it maybe it doesn't come back around from the past, but there, regardless, I do feel like there is some new opportunity coming back around or coming around in October. You have the power to negotiate. I would brush up on your negotiation skills this month, Capricorn. I would brush up on your social networking skills because there's a power here to negotiate. If it's taking too much of your time, maybe you can, you can negotiate something else, all right? But there is a power here to negotiate what's not working for you. In a contract, in a stipulation, in an opportunity, whatever the situation is. Let's pull a final card for you for just this spread. And then I'm going to do another spread for a confirmation, all right? Not interested. Time to move on. Don't let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. I'm telling you, Capricorn, there's something from the past. Maybe where you weren't interested or someone else wasn't interested and they moved on, you moved on. And I feel like if someone like passed on you, it did kind of like hurt a little bit because it seemed like such a perfect fit. Um, but I feel like something from the past may come back around. 
And at first, it still may be kind of the same energy where it's like, oh, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if I'm interested. But I would consider, all right, the offer in Shark Tank Talk. All right, I'm done. Let's do another spread for my Capricorns. By the way, if you don't watch the TV show uh, Shark Tank, it's a really good show. I feel like uh, it's, uh, it's it's like such a Capricorn show, I feel, you know. It's definitely Capricorn, Earth sign, Virgo, like air sign TV show for sure. Let's do a further clarification for Capricorn for October 2019. Definitely some new opportunities coming back around Capricorn. Um, I mean, I just get it. The moon, confusion in the past, not sure. Present, some new opportunity comes around. The Hierophant being more enlightened. Time has passed. I'm, I'm telling you, all right? Another energy I'm getting is that some of you may have had a situation maybe where you were hesitant about approaching something or moving forward with something, an idea, uh, submitting yourself for something or submitting information for something, and now maybe you're finally getting the confidence in October to move forward, all right, with some sort of opportunity, with some sort of energy. It could also be love-related, moving forward with something love related and engagement asking someone out something like that but regardless i feel like you're giving a boost of power a boost of oomph this month a boost of energy a boost of pizzazz and there's people talking about you behind the scenes like there are people and i feel like whoever these people are they're considering you for something like i don't know what it is capricorn like they're considering you for something all right you're being considered for something even if you don't realize it. So if you've been going on job interviews, if you've been submitting your resumes, your, your portfolios, like there's, you, you may hear back about something this month, definitely. If you've been submitting applications, but there's definitely something special and unique about you, Capricorn, that's, that is perfect for this role, this fit, this opportunity even though I feel like there's something about it that you just at first aren't necessarily excited about <laughs> I don't know if it's too good to be true to you or if it's just kind of like you know maybe there's something where it involves relocation or travel could also involve you overcoming certain fears or phobias in some way shape or form I definitely feel like some opportunities coming back around. And for some of you, the opportunity may be so sweet, may be so juicy, so magical, so big, that you actually are like, we want to run away. It's kind of like a fear of success, fear of failure energy here for some of you. Definitely facing some fears and phobias this month in regards to just overcoming your own self, I feel like, this month. There's something about you overcoming your own self this month that... It's quite inspiring, I feel. 
And I feel like Capricorn, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this. You have to understand, I know a lot of you come from, you know, a lot. there's so many different people, thousands of people, millions of people, you know, because overall my watch views on my channel has is it's like a, over 5 million, I think. I don't know. But there's a lot of people that watch this video, but you have to understand that I come from the era of, I'm a, I'm a millennial, basically. So I just completely lost my train of thought. I don't know why explain that i just kind of wanted to explain the analogy i was about to use but i forgot the analogy oh okay I, it came back to me so often when we have a big moment in our lives you know that causes us to reflect that causes us to face our fears our phobias you know our for example fears of successes fears of failures fears of becoming too big for our britches fears of you know becoming well well known or I mean, there's so many different fe fears of having too, ma too much money, you know, just as much as fears of having too, too little money. But there's something about a big moment, a big blessing in our life that comes where we have to share it with the world. And I feel like, you know, Capricorn, that's not a bad thing because I, once again, I do feel an element here where you, whatever this is, it, it, it will inspire other people. So I feel like it's good to share your story and I feel like there's going to be a lot of Facebook posts long you know capricorn facebook post this month this month i feel like there's gonna be a lot of capricorn posts you know i got a promotion i got a new job i i got the offer in you know across the country i got this offer in this state you know my dream job my dream there's gonna be a lot of these capricorn posts this month i feel and maybe they're not that big maybe it's just i i got married i found a hundred dollars today you know i my boss gave me a donut today and you know he's always so mean to me but there's something here capricorn where maybe a little act of kindness maybe an opportunity maybe someone confesses their love to you this month maybe your luck changes the tide of your luck changes for the better but there's something here how that happens this month um and i'm sticking to it that is going to force you to grow in a very positive way And it's going to force you to realize your power. And just how meaningful and valuable you truly are. And how you can protect that, but you can also negotiate that as well. There's power that comes with being you. Alright? Use it wisely. I love you all. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Comment. Share. If you would like a personal reading from me, I am available for readings as we speak. Yes, contact me on my website, LamarTownsandTarot.com. Purchase your reading directly from my website. Within 24 hours, I will send you an email confirmation letting you know that I received your payment. Within one to three days or sooner, we will get your reading done. Typically, it's sooner than two to three days. Sometimes it's the same day. Also, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment, share, hit the bell next to the subscribe button, make sure the two bars are on the bell, which uh, means that you will get a notification every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Uh, follow me, like me on my social media pages. My Instagram is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. My Facebook is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. And I thank you all for listening and watching. I look forward to you in, or I look forward to you in seeing you in the next video. If you subscribe or if you, if you click the next video that shows up uh, of me, and I also look forward to seeing you for your own personal reading. You can also contact me at 703-791-9162. Call or text. Standard rates apply. I'm on Eastern Standard Time and only for readings. Love and light. God bless and no stress. Have a great month, Capricorn, and I'll see you in November. See you in the next video or for your own personal reading.